Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn the sibling communication between the components. You may be surprising why we came back to sibling communication. Actually speaking, this video is especially by using signals. So signals is a new concept which came in Angular 16 which is very booming nowadays. The signals is not specific to Angular. It has been used at many places. I have explained about signals in my Angular 16 features video. Please watch that for better understanding. So now we will use the signals and how these signals helps us to communicate between the sibling components. Let me go into the next slide. So in this video we will cover how we can use signals in the component communication, how we can listen to a signals and also creating signals at the service level and also how signals replaces the behavioral subject in observables. So now when I am investigating the signals concept so I understand something like it is something like an observable where you can subscribe in an observable whereas you can listen to the particular events in signals. So we'll see about signals especially here and when we learn about behavioral subject in our series I'll do a video where the difference between behavioral subject and signals how we can implement them. This video completely concentrates on signals. Let me go with an example. My example is something like I have a sender component and a receiver component and these two are injected at our app component and also there is one service which I created that is signal service and this signal service will be injected at the app level so that it can be used by the sender and the receiver if they require. I don't want to make them individual. Instead I want to make it a parent level called as app component. And now I'll be creating some set of button over the sender component and we'll send the data into the signal service and we'll update the signal which we create in this service. When we update the signal automatically the receiver component should receive the data from that signal. So this is the example which we will cover. Let me jump into Visual Studio Code and do it practically. So here I have Angular 16 application which is already created. You can see the package JSON and the package JSON shows you Angular 16. Now whenever we are using an Angular 16, I always recommend to go with the standalone components. So for that sake, let me go here and create a standalone component. As this application is completely created as a standalone, when we run a component generation command, automatically it generates a standalone component. Let me introduce a standalone component and now it got created if you go into this sender component and see you got a property called as standalone and now let me create something called as a receiver component so i am creating a receiver component so it also created as a standalone component now we are done with the creation of components now i want to create a service as well ng generate a service and the service name is signal service and I want to create especially the signal service. So let me hit enter. Now it will create you a signal service. Now let me go here and let me inject them according to this diagram. So sender component should be in the app component, receiver component should be in the app component. So let me go into app component.html and I'm not using any routing part. So let me remove this routing part and now let's concentrate on the selectors. So let me copy this app receiver so let me copy it and paste over here save this and also we have something called as sender component let me go into the sender.ts just copy this app sender copy it and just paste over here so we are done with the creation and injection of our components now we have to inject signal service in our app component so that it can be utilized by sender component and the receiver component so let me go into this app.component.ts because it is also a standalone component so now we don't have any modules so I have to inject over here so let me go here and inject our signal service let me save this now we have injected our signal service in our imports of app component so we are done with the injection and the structure is same now let me go into signal service and create one signal something like data signal which will receive only a message so better we'll go with a message property message and the message is something like a string and it is an empty string by default but this is a normal way of creating a variable but we want to create using signals 
so for that sake let me go here and just use a signal from our angular core and then let me inject with an empty value and if you want to make it strictly typed then you can go with a string so save this now this message can receive some set of data for example in general we'll be using a private as a variables and if you want to access them we'll use setter getter method so let me use set message and let me try to send some input message i'll be sending some message to this and it is of a string format now this string format i want to update in our signal so how to update the signal i have explained about the signals clearly how to update and how to add so we'll be using something called as update i have explained about signals in my Ang angular 16 features video i'll provide the link in the description please watch that so that you will be very clear of updating and setting up and also you can use some set of properties which are given by signal so here to update anything we'll use a method called as update and this will be a callback function and inside this callback function i want to set it up with your input message so let me save this so this signal gets updated now let me use something called as get message so get message will return you the signal so let me use a return statement and let me use this dot message and it is a signal so i'll use off so that whenever i call this get message this message will be written to us so for our understanding let me write console console.log of signal service set and then let me copy the console and put it over here so i can use signal service get just for our understanding let me save this now we are ready with the data but this has to be sent from our sender component so let me go into sender component sender component dot html i'm not creating anything special over here so what i'll do is i'll just create a button which will send some random data send random data and let me use a click event over here click is equal to i want to pass a method send signal data this is my method let me copy this send signal data and go to your sender component just create this but that signal whatever you want to update it is at the service level so whenever you want to get the service value then you have to use dependency injection so already i have explained in our reactive forms about form builders how to use it and even we will talk about this dependency injection in the further videos of my services series for now we can inject a service by using dependency injection so the service is signal service and the service name is signal service so now i am giving this service as a reference to this now i can use this dot signal service dot you can access the methods from that service so what are my methods over here just try to access them but it is not showing any of the intelligence why here let me use something like public and save this and then let me pass some random data math dot random will give you a number and we have to convert into a string still we are seeing the problem so okay so here we have used the send signal actually use we actually speaking we have to use signal service save this now we have targeted for the signal service and you are sending the message but even without public also now it works save this and just go to the sender and you can see that set message now i am converting into string because this is a method which will receive only string whenever i click this button in our html that is send random data that should send to the signal and the signal gets updated whenever the signal gets updated wherever we are utilizing that signal it has to be called so for that sake what i can do is just i'll go into receiver component and inside this receiver component i'll use a constructor and inside the constructor i can use private and i can use signal service colon null service so now i have injected in our receiver component but how to get that value to get that value i can use two things one is you have to listen for that particular message signal and the second thing is if you use that signal inside the computed property then that gets updated first thing is we will see how to listen that 
So how to listen is by using a effect method which is given by angular core again and this effect will have a callback function. So inside this callback function whatever the signals you are listening that will listen and it will print whenever you want. For example in this case I want to go with signal service dot get message and this get method will return you a signal value const value of the signal and then let me use a okay so let me print this first console dot log of value so whenever there is an updated value over that signal then that message gets updated in our receiver component so what I am doing I am just sending the value from our sender component and that will be received in your receiver component and you can see that value so let me go here we saw some problem signal service component imports must be a standalone components directives or ng modules okay so we gave this signal service inside the imports let me go into app.component.ts we have to give this signal service in the providers not in the imports let me save this and now you can see app sender is not known element to an angular component why because we have created that sender component and the receiver component but we didn't inject it as they are the standalone components I am injecting inside your import statements of our component decorator so let me use receiver as well so these two components I am just using their selector in our app component that's why it is throwing error so now everything is set you can see sender works and send random data if you inspect for the first time it called signal service get why it is calling signal service get the only reason is it is setting the default value if you see you have an empty so whenever the signal creates then one time that particular signal will be listened that means whenever this is set for the first time then automatically whoever are the listeners it that will be listened by that components so here you can see this is a listener and it is listening to the signal for the first time because we are using that signal inside this effect so let me go here and clean this let me send some data send random data whenever I click on the send it went to set and it went to get and it updated why it went to get why because whenever there is a set happened on the signal then that effects whoever are using this particular signal will be called for example let me write a console so that you will be getting a sequence this is something like effect and save this you can see let me reload and click this you can see first it went to set then it went to effect whenever it goes into the effect it can call this get message whenever it is calling the get message you are getting a value this value I want to show in the UI so for that sake I can use a another signal or else just we can use a variable for example I want to go with random number variable and then I want to go with a string actually I'm getting a string over here and it is not assigned by default so let me copy this and instead of using a const I'll use this dot this one and I want to show this random number variable inside our HTML so I'll just show this value over here say this and go here clear this off when I send this the value updated in your receiver component click this again it updated click this again it updated so that means the signals are getting listened by the components and if you see I am sending the data from one component to another component where these two components are siblings to each other without any input output decorator I am able to send the data so let me go here and also I mentioned you that not only the effect even a computed property will also get listened let me comment this and now what I want to do is I'll just go here and write some set of value over here I'll get this variable as a signal by using computed property computed property and this is also a callback function and inside this callback function let me get that signal value so how to get the signal value this dot signal service dot get message so this is the one which will return you the value but in general why we will use computed whenever you want to convert some set of data in your properties so for that sake what I will do is I am getting the signals but I'll just concatenate with some static value so that it comes under the computation so let me use underscore value and save this or just use underscore 
signal but as this random variable is not a normal variable it is something which is related to signal we have to call it otherwise it will throw error you can see here it's shown a function value but i want to call this function in our component.html let me go here already we have this and just call this let me go here now it shows underscore signal why because for the first time it is only having that value which is empty and when I click on the send random data you can see the value is getting updated in the computed property and that is shown on your UI so why we can use the computed property there is one more chance where instead of hard coding this I want to execute some set of values for example we are getting an empty right so whenever it is having an empty we can say that no signal value at that time I can use this dot signal service dot get message if that message exists then I will return that value this dot signal service dot get message if that message does not exist then I'll be returning the value which is like signal has no value and just save this so for the first time it will return signal has no value you can see signal has no value because it is empty but when I click on send random data automatically the random data getting updated over here so that's about your signals and how we can communicate between two components without using input output decorator and by using signals so this is one of the biggest advantage which can override our observables and by seeing all this once the signal concepts is completely stable in the future releases of angular i think that may even replace our rxjs operators hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you